Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge. In this video, I'm going to show you my latest AK setup. For those of you that are AK aficionados, you'll like this, or if you're in the market for your first rifle, uh, we can also get you squared away on what to do and how to set your gun up. Let's go ahead and get started. Folks, this rifle here is an Arsenal SAM 7 uh, SF. This is a milled receiver, as you can see, the uh, milled cutouts right here. Uh, this is a gun that is made out of one piece of, of metal. You can see the milled cutouts right here. Milled AKs have these uh, cutouts, you can tell they are, whereas the AKMs are stamped and you'll see the rivets on those. This one does not have rivets because it's milled. Uh, but this one's in 7.62x39. I, I like the plum just because it's, it's Russian style. Uh, of course, this rifle is Bulgarian, made by an arsenal with Bulgarian parts. And I, what I like about this rifle here is that they're usually pretty tight shooters. I've had a couple of these over the years and they've all shot very well. Usually two to three inches at 100 yards and for an AK that's that's pretty good. That's good for almost any rifle and I think two and three inches is great, uh, especially with, with us being the shooter and the ammo is really the limiting factor there. I'm sure they do better with better ammo. But what I like about this rifle here is that it is a, uh, it is a folding stock so it folds on the right side and what you can do there is, is you can transport it so for less space. Uh, so it takes up uh, a lot less space if you're transporting your rifle. Of course, easy to deploy the stock, comes out just like that. Uh, what I have on this gun here, uh, regular safety on there. It does come with a safety, if a, a thumb feature on this, if you want to use that. I, I wouldn't because I you know do the regular AK safety manipulation, but some people may find that uh, easier so you've got shorter, smaller hands. But what I generally will do with the safety on an AK is just manipulate it like that but it is an option for you. Uh, I've got standard uh, iron sights on there, right here, what came with the gun. Uh, easy to zero, AK sight tools and all that. What I also put on this is an um, Aimpoint Micro. That's a T1 right there. Um, got the uh, Aimpoint Low Mount. I like to have it so that I can use my iron sights or my red dot simultaneously. So when I'm aimed it on the rifle, if my optic, my red dot fails for any reason, whether it's shot, whether it's fogged up or anything, it just stops working or shuts off for whatever reason. Uh, what I can do is I can still use the iron sights without moving my head. They call that co-witnessing, I guess. Uh, I just like being able to use both set of sights simultaneously if I have to. So I'm a big fan of that aim point there. Uh, flashlight right here, I got that uh, Surefire G2X and I got that in a Daniel Defense mount. You may ask what the rail is. Uh, it's an Ultimac. That's usually what I use on all my AKs uh, to light, uh, for light mounts and for optic mounts. That Ultimac is rock solid. Standard uh, muzzle brake on there. Sling, uh, VTAC sling, and you can see my high speed uh, sling attachment right there, that 550 cord right there, real high speed. They call that a silent uh, sling keeper right there, so you can do that. Uh, magazines, Bulgarian uh, waffle, uh, waffle mags, those circle 10 mags, pretty reliable. So what I do here, guys, is uh, simple stuff. Got a red dot, got a light, iron sights, and a sling. And uh, I was able yesterday to reach out to 400 yards pretty easily uh, with this setup. Ammo, whatever com block ammo that you can find. Uh, just see what shoots good out of your gun. But this is just an easy AK setup. Uh, you could run this with iron sights only. You can put a red dot on there if you'd like. But every rifle that you have should have a white light on there, especially if uh, you plan on using it for home defense or if you plan on using it for any other purposes. Having a uh, white light on there is pretty important stuff. Uh, what you may notice on this rifle also is I've got a paint marker right here. These are witness marks. So what I do is I make sure that I put those witness marks on there to make sure that those screws are not turning out. Now they shouldn't because what I've got is red Loctite on this uh, Ultimax screws. I know uh, they'll say, oh, you won't need to do that. Uh, anything that screws on your rifle, you need to have either blue or red Loctite. If something's going to be permanent on my gun, like pistol sights or an Ultimax rail on an AK like this, I will use uh, red Loctite there. And by the way, this Ultimac was a gift from one of my students, uh, Russell, a uh, good guy in law enforcement there in uh, Missouri. So big shout out to him. He was just in class. Thank you. You made the video and so did the Ultimac. So good stuff and good shooting, Russell, this last week. Uh, what we also have here, guys, is a witness mark uh, over here. What you'll see is, is that I've got the witness mark here to make sure that my Ultimac doesn't slide. Now it shouldn't slide because I've got it uh, right up here along the gas block. So I've got other rifle setup tips and some accessories and some other options for you in my American Rifleman book uh, with some good, good dry fire in there and also some other drills that you can look at. There is no substitution for coming to class, so if you've got an AK or any other rifle, we'd love to see you in one of our Rifleman classes. 
Our 2021 schedule is up. I would recommend booking your class earlier rather than later. Uh, we do tend to fill up rather rapidly, especially around this time of the year. I hate turning people away, but I've had to do it for the last six years. We're coming up on our seventh year of training, and we've had uh, uh, six years of so sold out classes thanks to people just like you. Appreciate the view and appreciate your attention, guys. And we'd love to see you on the ridge, and we'd love to see you in one of our rifleman or pistol craft classes in 2021. If you found the information in the video helpful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to follow me on Facebook, that link is down below. We'd really like to see you in class. We'd love to get you out on the firing line, help polish up your skills, help you get some new uh, techniques and some more proficiency with your shooting. This is Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you, the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.